around she's all over you all right guys welcome back to the way with jazz and tay it's your girl jazz and shante and before the break we did our review of the week which is of insecure and things got a little hot and heavy uh and we got a little deep we did we got a little deep uh mental health is important and november is mental health um men's mental health awareness month so check on those men in your life you guys But let's go ahead and get into our hot topic now, which is going to be our side piece conversation. DJ Academics had an interview with Brittany Renner on his off the um, his show podcast off the record. Um, I don't know why this man is still even relevant, to be honest, because anytime DJ Academics is coming up, there's nothing positive tied to it. There's nothing. The last time I heard about him, it was about that girl Sarvani, and he was like shaming her for buying a house with her OnlyFans money, which is like. Oh, so you're hating on her hustle, like because it's, you could probably because you couldn't do that, like you know what I mean? It was interesting training. listening to their interview, though. Like it kind of came full circle because yeah. I felt the same way about DJ Academics and the stuff that I see on the internet from him. Mm-hmm. But Brittany Renner was like, you know, you and I are kind of one in the same. Like, Ooh, you know, DJ Academics, he was based. She was basically saying that he. You know he got it out the mud like he made something of himself he's done great um and all he does essentially is talk about the things that everybody else wants to talk about but he puts his opinion on it but then like off the record is bringing those people and being like okay let's clear it up mm-hmm. let's ask all these questions that everybody has and i was like you know i kind of have a newfound like almost respect for him no i don't but like him i didn't like I, <laughs> I, I really didn't like the interview like it just to me was like he he's closed minded mm-hmm. and i think that that's why we don't like it because yeah, i got you he has a way of thinking that is not aligned with anybody who you know bends rules he's very like this is how things are supposed to do be and this is how you're supposed to do it and i'm like dude like open your mind up a little bit understood yeah i got you it's really hard it's really hard when you have certain things like ingrained into you or like how you were raised or whatever in being presented or challenged with other thoughts and ideas. Mm -hmm. And um, you almost feel like you need to defend, you know, yourself in those things. And I find that with him, uh, that's kind of how I see that with him. And I think again, with the Brittany Renner interview, she kept saying like, you know, that's how you feel or like, that's your judgment, but that's okay that you feel that way. Like Mm -hmm. you're entitled to feel any way you want to, but just because you feel that way, doesn't mean that I have to live my life by what you, by your code or by your judgment or by the things that you hold dear to you. Amen. Just know that. And I was like, this is a, it was a really good interview, but Snaps. I did not, some of the questions I was like, ill. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs yeah, I definitely think, you know, of course, media takes what they want from a situation and run from run with it. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as Brittany and oh boy, PJ Washington situation, I definitely think, you know, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. Like the whole time she kept saying, but how am I a side piece when we were in a relationship? He right. wants it baby wasn't like, she also married didn't were they not married i know okay oh because, like, i thought okay i, I thought, thought I they saw were some, married but social like, media be saying that she secretly filed for divorce but they were never married. see that's what okay. yep that's what i thought i saw okay cool cool, cool. Mm-hmm. thanks for clearing that up yeah <laughs> coco's got the tea <laughs> <laughs> she made it clear in the interview they weren't married and i was gotcha. like oh, that's okay. interesting yeah but um You know, people, like she even said, you know, I have this persona on social media, but that's not who I am Mm -hmm. in real life. And I mean, just like you said, DJ Academic, you know, got it out the mud, like he made something of himself. I'm sure how he is in the media is not the same as how he is in his personal life. And that's what anybody that's on social media or in entertainment, like who you portray is not who you are. You know, you have to be somebody that people like, that people want to listen to. Like, she's a pretty girl. So, of course, her physical appearance is what's going to attract people to her. Her body is how she makes money. So, of course, sex is what she's selling. Right. And and the fact that people are upset about it. But it's like, if it weren't in demand, she wouldn't be out here. And she said that in the interview. She was like, Mm -hmm. 
if there wasn't a lane for me, I wouldn't exist and I wouldn't be an influencer and I wouldn't be out here. So it's like, there are people that are feeding into it. And yeah. even the haters, you're still feeding into it, even if you don't like it. Right. You're still um, giving the attention. You're wasting your breath on it. Right. Um, one thing that we really wanted to pull from this interview as kind of like a holistic hot topic was the side piece, the side chick conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, what I wanted to know is why do you guys think men put women in these boxes? Uh, um, DJ Ap Academics defined, said he thought that um, Brittany was a side chick and defined a side chick as someone you sleep with, but that you don't wife. Um, why do you think that men put women into these boxes, but will cheat on their wife with the side chick? What I find that it comes down to is a it's like a sense of unobtainable. What, what is that word? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, thank you. It's something One thing like you can't have. It's something mm -hmm. like that, you know, or it's like, you know, being able to even maybe just have that, that claim of being able to say that you were intimate or associated with that person, mm -hmm. knowing that there was no real maybe intention of a long-term um, connection, you know, um, Dragon rights. like mm -hmm. I had that. that yeah, yeah, like bragging, bragging rights. And a lot of the times, you know, it is it is a lot of, you know, these these women that are you know, these beautiful put on the pedestal, uh, you know, type of women. Um, but then also, I feel like sometimes it comes from a place of just like, you know, hurt and there's there's other issues there because um, you feel the need to have to step out on your person or partner be for whatever reason and this other person then kind of like becomes your crutch and they're probably like depending on you for others like you know there's 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 I feel like different lanes to this I do want to say like you know in today's society I think we're more outspoken about um racial tension and things like that but these women that they're considering side pieces let's be real I think there is a bit of colorism that goes along mm, interesting uh, because even think like this situation with britney renner and pj washington the situation with um the dummy the baby Danny Lee. Danny Lee, you know like i thought she might have been you know half black or something but come to find out i guess she's not she's um, dominican and dominicans historically are black but she refutes that are, that's but the issue she that's, don't i did right <laughs> right and that's the problem because you appropriate so anyways continue <laughs> um you know you sleep with these exotic looking women um for bragging rights mm, you yeah. know but like the baby has a baby with has children with a full-on black woman mm -hmm. and it's just like like you don't hear too much about their relationship except for when there's drama right, but yeah. he was all in the social medias with this girl Danny Lee yeah you know, like I we knew know. right we knew we knew that to be his girl like we all kind of were there for yeah. that we saw it happening we saw it growing she bought him a car for his birthday and but we were like, was like we were side-eyeing the whole side side piece we side-eyed the whole thing because we knew about his baby mama like he's been with her mm -hmm. like it, it, she I liked her song she had with Chris Brown but then when she made that one song about yellow, yellow bone, no, and I, and I start side eyeing her like, yeah, I yeah, do that. get out of here, girl, because you're not a yellow bone, and just that that is don't. a term reference to to black women that you don't claim to be right, See, right. But yellow bone is what you want, okay, right. white girl, get out of here with your ignorance. So <laughs> yeah, and that had me hot. Say, like she brought this on herself or anything with her right. actions. I just find it very hard that you were in in the medias with this girl there is a video floating around you telling this girl you love her yeah. and now all of a sudden she's a side piece right yeah. like you had a whole baby with her and Literally. honestly I'll, I'll say it doesn't I don't think it means much to have a baby with the baby because he's just having babies left and right literally because his but, baby mom is pregnant now right yeah and I don't know again if it is. yes mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's his <sighs> but I would assume it's his yeah. But like, my thing is like, I think it's tragic. And I think that these men, like, there's a bit of like, it's kind of like, like, mental abuse to me. Like, I feel oh, like for sure. girls, these lies, like, 
let me give you, let me say all these nice things and I'm gonna sell you all these dreams. Kind of like what Summer Walker said, selling all these dreams just to be talking essentially. No, for and sure. And at the end of the day, you're gonna put me on live and air me out trying to look like the good guy but like the baby looks like trash right it's now man, it's yeah. manipulation also the fact that he did it while she was sitting there trying to feed your three-month-old mm. she's literally trying to take care of your child and you're over here trying to put her on on live like come on you yeah. you and look lame police on her. you look yeah. lame and why is you why are you as a black man calling the police on anybody period I'm sorry yeah like i just why don't the same rules apply to them also hmm. yeah I, I just I, feel i feel bad for her i feel like she's kind of she's being stupid you know i don't think she's necessarily acting the smartest in the situation and it's gotten her in into this really unfortunate place um I just we think only a lot of women in this industry before they like it's cool like it's great if you meet somebody you you find love all of this and that but maybe take a step back and not be so open build your yeah. relationship outside of the media because now you looking crazy yeah being so blind in love i feel mm -hmm. that so we only have a few minutes left um before we jump off for the day coco please let our listeners know where they can find you and listen to your podcast um as you all can see in the right upper hand corner that's where you can find me at on instagram kicking with coco i do have a website Kikian with Coco podcast.com. So if you guys want to keep up to date with all the episodes I have, check out the, the website, the website, take you to the link, uh, wherever you listen to your podcast. And yeah, thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. This was a really awesome show. And as always, you guys, thank you for tuning in. We will catch you next week. Peace. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boo, 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 boo. Hey friends. Hey, hey y'all. For those who don't know us, we are Jasmine and Shantae, hosts of the weekly podcast and radio show, The Way with Jasmine Tay. In our show, we like to bring lots of laughs, sass, and opinions to get you ready for the day and the weekend ahead. You can listen to us anywhere you stream your podcast. That's right. You can stream us anywhere. Apple, Google, Spotify, literally anywhere. And for more weekly updates, TikToks, and other shenanigans, follow us on Instagram at The Way Jazz and Tay and on Twitter at The Way JT. And you can check us out on our website, thewayjtpod.com. Again, that's thewayjtpod.com to give us suggestions or learn more about advertising and sponsorship opportunities. Until next time, bye. Peace.